But what we should be talking about is uh, Joe Rogan experiencing, you know, the truth for the first time. I that was a bad segue. Fuck it. Anyway, Ethan it's Klein popped of off on Twitter, apparently, friend wife, of the show me. slash my co-host, uh, Ethan Klein, uh, posted some a sequence of tweets, okay? And, of course, it's got everybody really pissed off because, you know, everybody loves the shit on Ethan because, you know, he's, a, this is he's no longer, he's no longer funny, dude. Yet. He's too, he's too liberal, brother. So, Ethan Klein says, Joe Rogan, who lives on elk meat, egg yolk, and human growth hormone with lungs full of tar, thinks he's healthier than everyone. This motherfucker is such a bitch that when he got COVID, he threw the kitchen sink at it. If you're so healthy, just ride it out like you say a man should. Dude has caused so much vaccine hesitancy and misinformation, he doesn't even have the balls to stand by the shit he preaches. Now he's on a show talking about how fat people should just die of COVID. Dude is such a piece of shit. Instead of getting vaccinated, he takes Regeneron, an experimental drug that was developed alongside the mRNA vaccine. His logic makes no sense. And then credits ivermectin, which does nothing for COVID. Not to mention whatever the f*** in Alpha Brain. Meanwhile, while Joe is on a big pharma conspiracy against vaccines, someone needs to ask him who makes ivermectin and Regeneron and all the other shit Less he took when he brain. had COVID. So he's right about all of this. Uh, I don't think Joe Rogan is a beacon of health or a beacon of, uh, you know, physical excellence or anything like that. Okay, he's not. He just straight up isn't. Like, he literally had bubble gut from HGH. Okay, but all these dumbasses, of course, are going to turn around and be like, dude, you look like, you know, you look like you're fat or whatever the f and, and oh, there it is right on the money. Here is the dumbass. Ethan Klein questions if Joe Rogan is healthy. Ethan Klein, age 36. Joe Rogan, age 54. That's what uh, that's what Keemstar said. Okay, once again, this is the unfortunate byproduct of unironic fat shaming. Like this is what the fat shamer people think talk about when they say like this is what the fat shamer anti-fat shaming people talk about when they say like just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy and it's true look at me mother i work out every goddamn day i got high cholesterol okay it doesn't mean anything i eat chicken every day and on top of that i work out every goddamn day and i still have high cholesterol because sometimes you just don't know it's thing. ggs okay you got bad genes sometimes okay now joe rogan is a great example of this because like Bro, he, his heart is enlarged from HGH. Like, he is not a healthy person, okay? He's not a beacon of health. Just because he looks a certain type of way doesn't mean that he's a healthy person. All of those Hollywood actors that take, uh, that cycle steroids, usually, okay? They're shaving off a couple years off the top fucking tippy toe of their lives. Now, is Ethan Klein healthy? No, okay? He's not that healthy either. Nobody's looking to Ethan as like the beacon of healthcare and excellence. He's just making accurate points that also correspond to the scientific consensus on the matter. That's it. Okay. He didn't claim to be uh, someone who is healthy. Other people are turning around and being like, no, nah, you, you're fat. Shut the fuck up. Okay, dude. I guess that's how we're doing it now. That's, that's how we should do it. Okay. We should just, uh, the other, <laughs> actually, Keemstar is fat. Like well, what kind of take is this? Keemstar is also fat. Why is he turning around and being like, Ethan, you're fat. Shut the fuck up. Okay, then you shut the fuck up too, dumbass. Why are Ethan Klein slash A30 fans claiming I'm fat shaming Ethan? I didn't mention his weight at all, but you all did. I think you're horrible for doing it. It's 2022. Grow up. Stream issues solved finally. Ha ha ha. It's so strange. Also, none of this, absolutely 0% of this, actually uh, addresses what Ethan Klein is saying, which is one, Joe Rogan is not exactly a beacon of excellent, excellence, uh, healthcare excellence, despite the way that like people assume he is just because he's shredded at 54. Uh, it requires, you know, a, a serious training regimen for sure. But that doesn't mean he's healthy. He's putting a lot of shit in his body, okay? And, and two, it's not like motherfuckers are saying, it's not like Ethan is saying like, I'm actually way healthier than Joe Rogan. He didn't say that, okay? He's simply talking about how Joe Rogan, despite taking a whole bunch of suppy boys that the FDA has not approved, okay, and selling a whole bunch of suppy boys that the FDA will never approve because, you know, these are uh, vitamins, vitamins, okay, um, are, are, is, is telling people that, you know, you shouldn't take the vaccine and also you should just lose weight. And if you don't lose weight, you're, you kind of deserve it. And that's really f***ed up. Picture a Keemstar at the gym. Yeah, this is, you know, this guy. Imagine talking shit when you look like this, bro, about people, the way people look.
Hypothetically, I say don't get addicted to heroin. It's bad. But since I'm addicted to heroin, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I need to shut the fuck up and be shamed aggressively. What do you mean? Okay. Here is the issue. Okay. America is obese. Okay. America has a lot of comorbidities and America is obese. So obviously when a public health official decides to make decisions on behalf of the American public, they're not making it on behalf of like the French public that uh, has a steady diet of cigarettes and coffee and, and whatever the f the French do, they eat a wee wee baguette in the morning and they're skinnier overall. Okay. They have to make a decision on behalf of America. Okay. So it is incredibly f stupid when Joe Rogan and others say, Oh, well don't be fat. Okay. Dog. Is there a vaccine against being fat? Cause I will take that shit. Okay. I would never, I would, Oh my God, the amount of food I would eat, I would gorge myself. I would literally, I would wake up in the morning and I would pump myself full of lard. I would be eating like 8,000 calories every meal. And then I would just take the fat vaccine and boom, I'm good. I'm shredded. Okay. But because that doesn't exist and uh, losing weight, especially uh, because weight is obviously tied to your diet and that your dietary habits are in many ways, not exactly something you can technically control or in inadvertent ways it impacts you because of like lobbying, high fructose corn syrup, and uh, lack of access to food education, food deserts that you might be living in, and all a litany of other complications, losing weight is not as easy as getting a vaccine, okay? The fat vaccine does exist. It's called Trenbolone. No, uh, it's also Clenbuterol, but you know, uh, that's not a vaccine, okay? Technically, a fat vaccine would just less the, lessen the effects of you getting fat, not stop you from getting fat. That's the other thing, when you're fat, when you, when you sit next to a fat person on the bus, you don't become fat, okay? But when you sit next to someone who's COVID paused, okay? And they've only been around for, you know, they, they, they didn't get their negative test because the CDC told them to get the f back to work and they cough on you. Congratulations, you got COVID, okay? You don't get fat by proximity, but you get COVID by proximity. Jesus Christ. I'm in the middle of changing my diet and I gotta say frozen, frozen vegetables are a godsend. Anyway, uh, Rogan's body type is one that's hard to gain weight as a kid, so he's never been worried about being fat. I just Google it, and two-thirds of Americans are overweight. Joe's really saying 80% of the population let him die on Bill Dipperly. Yeah, that's, that's an idiotic take. Now, we all agree that obviously, if you are overweight, then yes, COVID will be more vicious to you, okay? There's also scientific evidence on this. This is not just bro science. It's not just Joe Rogan saying that. And every person that is even slightly overweight that has ever been to a doctor already recognizes that because every time you go to a doctor, they're like, lose weight. Every time, every time a fat person goes to a doctor, they're like, I broke my leg. They're like, lose weight. Bitch, I broke my leg. Lose weight. Come back. It's like, that's just the doctor thing to do. Okay. So TikTok about blind items earlier with so like every motherfucker knows this. Every fat that. motherfucker and knows nuts. this. Okay. They know. Okay. They know. Except... You know, you, you also can take additional precautions and not die of COVID, okay? You should lose weight, for sure. You should have a healthy diet. You should have, uh, you, you know, you should be engaging in fitness, fitting this ad break at the top of the hour into your mouth, okay? Obviously, you can avoid those ad breaks, though. If you no longer want to see those ads at the top of the hour, all you need to do is subscribers. $5 are for fucking free. Oh, God. Oh, brother, I'm on fire today also all women get told that what all women get told to lose weight oh you're talking about like in general your doctor's not gonna tell you to fucking lose weight if you're already skinny um at the top of the hour listen you might get yeah, lucky you chat. might get a you know you might get the natural antibody to the top of the hour ad break in the form of a twitch uh you know gifted sub or if you're not lucky enough you're gonna have to subscribe on your own for free with a twitch prime or for five dollars with if you use your twitch prime already for five dollars uh, regular subscription the here's the woman ad break now <sighs> they might mean that women also have unseen issues with doctors believing them so so it, it's just like it's so stupid to just be like just lose weight yeah he's right okay he's right a lot of americans are obese okay but like this is entirely separate this is a separate conversation okay this is like you know Here's how you, here's how you will never lose weight if you die of COVID. <laughs> okay. That's it. Like the number one way to never lose weight is if you f die of COVID because you got COVID and you're unhealthy and now you're in the hospital and now you're dying. Okay. Puppers.
actually, or technically, I guess you lose all of the, uh, uh, of the weight. If being healthy, lean keeps you from getting sick or dying from COVID, why did Dro throw the kitchen sink at his COVID diagnosis? LMAO, that dude was terrified. Yeah, that's the other thing. Oh, COVID, if you're healthy, is like not a big deal. Also, when I got COVID, I literally tried like experimental therapies and shit. You know what I mean? And, and that's the point that shit. Ethan was making, which is like, if COVID is not that big of a deal, why the f*** didn't you take it on the chin like a man? Like, why, why didn't you let your, your healthy body do the work? Okay? You're a healthy guy. Why didn't you just take it on the chin? Why did he? Why did he do everything he possibly could? Matty W, Spastic Hawk 27. What the fuck? Uh, Rikuto Ramen. Uh, thank you for the five. Give the subs. Thurakud Wire. Thank you for the 10. Give the subs. And Spastic Hawk 27 with another five. And Hazel Quaza with a five as well. Ethan coming back from hiatus after all we've been, we've all been radicalized by Hassan. <laughs> David Rotin is in the fucking background too. By God. It's David Rotinez. Teacher here who just started back. I've never experienced this. As I always totally uh, was a skinny person. I've gained weight since COVID started. Went to find out about sleep apnea that I probably place. had since before I started gaining weight. Doctor talked to me for five minutes. Literally, only said lose weight. Trash. Yeah, if you're fat, most doctors are gonna tell you to fucking lose weight. That's just like, and they're right, but not fully right. Okay, losing weight if you are overweight always helps with a lot of issues. Okay. And I say this as someone who was obese for most of his life, who lost a fuckload of weight, okay? It helps with your confidence. It helps Chin when you go to the gym and you start feeling better about, uh, you know, your, your brain chemicals work a little bit differently, okay? So it's not a bad thing. It's a definitely a good thing. And it, it's, a, it's like, you know, pursuing a healthy lifestyle, lifestyle is something that I am 100% an advocate for, okay? As someone in the chat correctly pointed out, fat Solid is like the damage multiplier, chimp, no problem. okay? Except like, you know, fat shaming is idiotic and there's plenty of empirical evidence to show that, to prove that it literally does not work in, uh, you know, stopping people from losing weight. As a matter of fact, it actually ends up, uh, you know, getting them to coffee. Dave, Hassle. thank you for the five. Whoa, what? Thank you for the 10, give the subs. Cassiophobia, thank you for the 10, give the subs. And male, male with the five, give the subs. Um, so... So I'm an advocate for all of that, okay? But also, uh, you know, don't be a fucking asshole to fat people because they already know they're fat. They, they wake up every morning with that reality, okay? It weighs on them, quite literally, okay? Uh, so you just bringing that up in a random conversation is only just like you're, you're being a fucking asshole, okay? No, no fat person has ever been like, oh my God, I'm fat? Thank you for telling me. I had no idea. I'm going to go ahead and change my entire lifestyle right now. That is a brilliant observation. That's never happened, okay? Skinny people who have never been fat unironically go about their lives thinking that like, you know, they're doing a favor to fat people by fat shaming them. Like that's not a thing, okay? Okay, so, so shut the fuck up about that. But also, again, this is entirely separate from the conversation about COVID. Like, yes, being overweight uh, or being obese especially, and the comorbidities that that brings along will absolutely make it uh, worse for you if you end up getting COVID. And that's precisely why you should be getting vaccinated. Okay? Especially because, you know, losing weight is a very difficult process that takes very, it takes long ass uh, time and a lot of commitment. Joe agrees with you, man. Oh, shit. Look at that. PS Hi from Cameron from Leftovers, lol. This is really well done, dude. This said it weighs on them. I mean, you know what I mean, mother. I'm, I, I was very fat when I was growing up. I know. I, you know what I mean. You carry that shit around with you everywhere you go. Anyway, this is fire. What do you mean by saying that doctors aren't even fully, doctors aren't fully right when they tell people to lose weight? The meme in the healthcare community is that like doctors literally spice fat people and tell, everyone who is like even slightly overweight to just lose weight okay but like sometimes it's not even just like losing weight will always help you for sure if you're overweight but that doesn't necessarily address the problem okay like you can have other underlying genetic reasons for why you have uh certain health issues that have nothing to do with your weight the weight is only like an accelerant okay chatters no better than doctors no i mean this is like a real thing like, there are so many stories of, uh, of people who, like, 
there's so many stories of people who are have who have been misdiagnosed as a consequence of being fat because e. uh it's just the easiest thing to just be like lose weight it's correct but if you're only focusing on that then you know you're you might be missing a fuckload of uh a fuckload of other uh, issues that you would normally be uh catching anyway so texas in the meantime uh doctors are taught to look at the most common issues first and weight is usually the problem anecdotes off fat people being misdiagnosed kind of silly in the face of dia data i mean this is definitely a bias for sure uh, it's, it's something that other doctors talk about regularly. I'm not just like fucking giving you anecdotes. And also you understand that, uh, like I said, fatness is an accelerant. So no matter what the fuck the main problem is, if you lose weight, you will actually end up, uh, solving at least some of the underlying symptoms, right? I'm not anti losing weight, mother. I'm not anti losing weight. So don't come at me with that shit. I do have a doctor. Yes, I have a primary care physician. I'm fancy motherfucker, dude. So I got hit by a car and went to a doctor a month later about a problem with my leg and I hit. It was like lose weight and then we can talk about it. Doctor here as well. And you're right. In fact, certain diseases are just straight up results of being overweight. Yes. The brain rot. But I already, I already acknowledged that. That would be insane for me to. I'm not one of those rad femme, like, fat phobia people, okay? I, I, I don't know why people are coming at me and being like, I just don't understand why people are coming at me on this issue, especially because I've, like, talked about being fat so many times and, like, how complicated it is to lose the weight. I'm just anti-fat phobia, even though I do engage in it uh, myself. I, like, I fat shame people from time to time, you know? It just slips out. You know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to control every now and then because I don't place it at the same level of emphasis as like, you know, hate speech, like Jamila Jamil or whatever, but you know, it's not, uh, it's, it's not fat shaming to say that like a lot of underlying medical problems are, are caused by being overweight as well. Of course. <sighs> How can people watch their diets and lose weight if you eat out, uh, uh, eat out once at a restaurant and meals like 2,000 calories? You basically have to be rich enough to afford only veggies, fruit, foods, and have the time to cook them. Nobody's saying it's easy to have a healthy diet. I'm not one of those dumbasses. Uh, it is very annoying when people are just like, oh, it's so stupid. It's so stupid, dude. Just like fucking, it's so easy to eat, uh, eat healthy. Like, it's not. Especially because, like, a lot of people don't even know that they should be eating healthy or how to eat healthy. Okay. Um, or anyway, maybe shutting down the virus could have included promoting a variety of safe early stage treatments, including monoclonal antibodies. Instead, the mainstream media vilified governors for pushing treatments over mandates and accused Joe Rogan of using horse dewormer. Wait, what? Dude, Joe Rogan's clout is such a unimaginably like large thing that you got Congress persons sucking him off. Like it is just. It is on a different level, bro. He is literally considered, like, the guy, okay? And also, who the f*** was anti-monoclonal antibodies? Point to a single person. If you are to say that monoclonal antibodies were scarce or it's more expensive as a treatment in comparison to the vaccine so people should still get the vaccine, then yes, that is something that I've seen. Even then, it's rare, but this notion that they were liberals out there who were like anti-monoclonal antibodies, that's just a fucking idiotic. Also, Dr. McCullough is not advocating for monoclonal antibodies and his take was literally use a neti pot. At least know who you're promoting. This motherfucker is the neti pot guy, isn't it? We, we covered this shit. Homie was straight like, uh, just use a neti pot with bleach and you will be fine. Actually, you will destroy COVID. Full blown boss of the wall. He's like, yeah, dude, I fucking, dude, I love ivermectin, dude. I'll get you your own. Ape together strong. Uh, I pay, I pay ivermectin. Hey, 
if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>